Hello, my name is Thomas Cannell. I am an artist from the Musqueam First Nation in Vancouver, British Columbia. My traditional name is Aquatalano. I am a descendant of Keapalano, the great war chief who greeted Captain Narvez and George Vancouver when they came to the shores of the Vancouver area, including the Fraser River Delta and Broad Inlet in 1792 and 93. I hope that the artwork inspires people to learn more about Musqueam's uh, ancestral territories and uh, the way that we lived and the people that we are today and how our culture is evolving and adapting. An artwork of this magnitude is going to put a Salish footprint back upon the land and hopefully will remind people that there were first peoples here long ago and uh, as stewards of the land we've kept it beautiful for everyone and that's why everyone loves to come here. The concept really came from the scale and scope of the work. Because I realized it was a glass facade, this purposeful original artwork is meant to be grand. It's telling many Musqueam traditional stories all at the same time. We have the eagle at the top, who is the powerful ruler, looking over all of the salmon and other migratory birds. The artwork will be experienced both from inside and outside. Um, on the outside is where you'll get the, the big sense of feeling that it's going to provide and the sense of space. Uh, from the inside of the building, things will be quite different because each floor is broken up. You're really going to get a sense of playful colors and like a puzzle that fits together and, and something to make your eye wander around and want to read the whole design. I put special attention into the bottom uh, area of the artwork where the Early Childhood Learning Center will have children that uh, want to have like a great visual experience while not being too excitable. At the glass studio, I got to spend countless hours choosing colors, choosing opacities, translucencies, and just working with the crew to bring what they have as an expertise and what I have as an expertise to fruition for something that will last in the city of Richmond for a generation to come. I am super excited to be working with the developers and the city of Richmond on such a large, prominent uh, public artwork. Uh, this is going to be right in the center of town. Everyone will see it. It will be really hard to miss. I hope you all like it as much as I do. Uh, and it was a lot of fun for me to create. So I hope that that uh, transfers into your visual experience of looking at the artwork. Hello everybody, this is Michael speaking, Michael Meyer, Franz Meyer Munich from Germany. Um, studio for Mosaic and Stained Glass, an old family tradition since 1847. My family is doing this, I'm now the fifth generation. My great-grand-grandfather, he started with um, statues and altars, continued in the 1860s with stained glass, and they have done that to a great amount for churches, hundreds of churches, thousands of churches, uh, also in North America, around the world. In the 1920s, that was kind of a little bit of a turning point for the studio when instead of the statues and altars, we continued doing mosaic or added mosaic. And it was the change from a more, from a more ecclesiastical work to more um, artistic works. From that time on, we more and more collaborated with freelance artists who came to the studio and realized projects with the studio. Um, in the 1980s, a new technique was added, the so-called flow glass painting, and that is also what we, what we use for Thomas's um, project. It's industrial glass we started painting on with enamel, um, colors, all these colors are fired to the glass and get permanent light proof through to that. And this opened all new possibilities because suddenly you were able to work much bigger and larger scale than with the traditional blown glass. So that was a pivoting point to move more and more into modern architecture. And that is what we do today. And with Thomas, <clears throat> we, we developed a language that would kind of serve more purposes um, than a normal traditional stained glass because stained glass was normally designed to work with through light. 
So you got the lights through the glass um, to be seen from the inside for the spectator to experience this glass. In Thomas's case, we really needed to work on a concept that allowed us to be seen from the out and the inside. Plus, it is or should be seen during daytime and during nighttime. Of course, it's not installed yet, but we really hope that the, the concept we work with Thomas um, fill, fulfills the, the, the purpose and gives the, the tenants, the people in the city, uh, a really beautiful way of, of seeing this artwork as a very dominant, um, iconic symbol which, which will sit on this building. I wish you all the best and take good care and enjoy the new artwork for this beautiful city. Thank you very much. Bye bye from Munich.